Hey everyone, welcome back to the Work and Dirt channel. Today on the homestead, we're gonna be doing a lot of work because we are gonna be trimming a ton of trees because they are a threat in many ways. And we have all kinds from valley oaks to crooked pines to poison oak even. And I'm no professional at this, so watch with a grain of salt. Hopefully we don't kill ourselves, but things should definitely get interesting, so stick around. We just went and rented the boom with my truck from the rental yard right there. I played a little switcheroo, you know, because you got to have a three quarter ton, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I don't know what the tow capacity of our F450 is, but I didn't want any issues. So I went with that truck, came back, and hooked this up now to our F450 RV. And now we got the tractor, so now we can get rolling. Oh man, it's a good day. She's on Red Rock. So luckily, these tree guys that came out for the utility companies uh, offered to chip our other brush. This is what they have to do, part of their work. But they said, hey, go throw it in your stuff and we won't say anything. So she's gonna go use the grapple and throw in a bunch of other branches. And we got Jeremy's uncle still going on removing branches and Jeremy, oh no, you got him in the basket. You didn't sign a waiver, God dang it. Oh hey, shit. <laughs> He's gonna try to. I wrote my name in my in the dirt in yellow over there. <laughs> We're taking care of all the immediate trees right now um, to make use of this boom we rented. We got it all weekend. We're gonna get that oak in the back. Uh, that's Down. the portion that's leaning towards a tree or towards our house. Down. And then, um, and what's amazing is a lot of these oaks have just a lot of rot. If you look, like over here. They have rot in them where leaves and water just sat. And then, ooh, saw a little mouse or lizard. Um, but also we have a crap load of woodpeckers that are making homes all up and down these trees. Uh, if you look at the cedar tree, it's just pecked to death. And if you go look over there, I don't know if you can see in the video, there is a ton of, there's a million holes in that. So that's just a home. You wanna get rid of anything that is obviously attractive to them. So. We're gonna get rid of that guy and yeah, we got trees for days, but like I said, we're just focused on the immediate threat to the house for both fire and just f falling damage. Tara's first time with the grapple. We took down that oak tree. As you can see, it's rotted in the middle. Oh, I don't know if you can't see it super far. And don't worry, folks, we are gonna plant more trees, um, healthy new trees, because you see right here, you can, uh, it goes all the way through down the bottom. And even down here, all these trees were hollow and just had nests in them that were rot rotted and varmints would hang out in there. I mean, everywhere, it's just, these are just bad. They're just too old and bad and we didn't want them hitting the tree or hitting the house. So over here, Jeremy's been getting the hang of our 45 foot boom and uh, this thing's really working out. It's awesome. I'm sure you guys are wondering about it. We spent 265 uh, this morning and I did it so that we can have it all day today and Sunday because they're closed and they're only charging us for one day and I'll bring it back first thing Monday morning. But it's been a long day. As you can see, there's a mess everywhere and uh, we'll be getting after it tomorrow. It's getting dark here, so we'll be getting ready for dinner here soon. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday and we are back at it. Nelly's moving logs for firewood over there, from there to over here where we got a pile going. Jeremy and Tara are out there getting the brush ready for chipping and I am gonna start taking our boom and taking care of these dead limbs. There's like, you see that one right there, that's dead and anything where I think it's just a little vulnerable, 
I'm going to trim back because these are some of the camp spots and we want it clear so if they pull in the RV they're not worried about limbs falling on them. There's another dead one right there and I don't know if take a look at this pine and they are uh, prone to falling over. They grow kind of odd but you can see that one's definitely almost looks like it was shotgun by woodpeckers all the way to the top so it's a threat because it's leaning towards their house but um we'll deal with that another day right now we're just going to take care of the smaller stuff and uh go from there so let's fire this thing up this thing has been awesome awesome for the money again i think i paid 270 and i think that's for 24 hours or eight hours if this has an hour meter on it basically 24 hours a day rental or eight hours of usage so we got to hold this one handle action oh yeah and this is an auto level which is so sweet some of these don't have auto level you'll see it level right now there you go boom so once there's two green lights on each pad or outrigger uh it knows it's level and, or it tells you it's level so now we can get in the basket and here we go in the carnival ride <sighs> cheapest carnival ride ever all right now let's look at this control switch here see if we can do this one-handed safely so we're gonna go we need to pick a speed Top of the world! Look at that! Look at that tree! All those woodpecker holes. A nice view from up here. Feel like fern gully up in the trees. What do we have here, folks? Another country tangent. She pulled me out of the boom because she needed some help over here getting this oak tree out. As you can see, it split massively. And it's stuck inside the, uh, well, it's just in between two parts. So we're just gonna pull it out with the tractor so that we can safely uh, finish cutting it with the chainsaw and then get to this other underbrush and chip that up. So there she goes, she's got it cinched there. And then, and then we'll put the tractor right in front. Um, but Tara, I would actually put the chain towards the bottom of it to help give it lift so it doesn't dig into the ground as you pull it. Yeah, so little technique there. All right, she's all hooked up, shackled and hooked. You think Red Rock's got it? Yeah. How much do you think that weighs? A ton. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say a ton. And then you got to add the coefficient of drag friction right there, you know. Co yeah, so, uh, you know, about five tons. Yeah. Yep. Now go forward. I don't know. Let's do it. Nice and easy. There you go. Keep going. There you go. We're making some good progress here. Just repositioning and uh, making sure we get our fire extinguisher always ready. Um, all right, so we'll put this just right over here. It can never be too safe. Everything's super dry. We're going good. Get a nice sweaty workout with Rit Rock. So. Yeah, they got that pile almost demolished, and so they'll go do that one. Jeremy's out there still cutting, and uh, we're gonna try to get some of these dead limbs right here. So let's get up. All right, we just got repositioned here. Uh, as you can see, they were there, and I was right there. So now we're gonna get back up on this bad boy. 
Check this function out. This function is pretty cool. A little extendo. It's going to extend that arm. So we can reach this dead guy. That's dead right there. Yes, sir. And we'll swing around over to it using these swing buttons. Boom. Yeah. And then check this out, this little feature to swing the bucket out, it's pretty nice. A little extra feet. Oh yeah. You can trim with these things too. Alright, it's getting unsafe. Gotta turn you off. And we're back at it. It's Monday night. Here's our first little chip pile. It's coming out good. These are super fine chips compared to uh, what the utility company Tree Service is doing. They're, they're making chips like five times this size but our blades are sharp uh, or else these would look a little more rough and, and a lot bigger so that's a nice compost pile right there and you can see we got our rocket lights thanks to Milwaukee we pop we purchased them though we didn't get sponsored so don't freak out we got Branson doing work everyone's doing work because it's working dirt <laughs> we got a 12 inch dabble blade on this guy, or Milwaukee. I know one of them is a Milwaukee spoon blade, but the teeth are huge. It's a 12 inch. She's got a 9 inch on the fuel Milwaukee saws off, and uh, these things are incredible for chewing stuff up quick. Add 26 point something PC. Model number PPT 26208. <laughs> Catch an ear fail, so make this one good. Okay. I'm ready, you ready?
there's some acorns. Well, that about wraps this one up, folks. Hopefully you liked what you saw and uh, you maybe learned a thing of what not to do. And the one thing we learned is that tree work, just like concrete, is always more than you think it is. But it's fun, yet dangerous. So if you wanna work out and do some hardy work, then go ahead and start trimming some trees. For the other ones that are concerned about the trees, well, we are gonna be planting more trees uh, for shade and privacy. So if any of you have good suggestions for trees around the 2,000 foot elevation in the Sierras, please let us know. We'll be putting some of those in here on the property. Thanks for your viewership, guys. It really helps our channel support veterans, trails, and charities each quarter. So thanks for that. And don't forget, please like and subscribe if you do like it. If not, hey, leave a comment. Let us know what you don't like. And until next time, do some work. A little flex. Damn, Gina. <laughs>